Good afternoon, everybody. It's Brandon checking in on this beautiful Monday afternoon. Ah, what are we going to talk about today? Well, the most relevant thing I'd like to talk to you guys about um, is something that occurs every once in a while. And last night I got a dose of it. Yay. And it is using dreams. Hmm. What are they? Well, it's basically a dream that happens. And you're using open it so uh yeah so last night i had a dream i woke up and uh huh, kind of feels like you almost used or you did use so you're left with that lingering feeling of like you know like you relapsed or something so um yeah last night i'll tell you what the dream was about it was basically about me doing dope i'm not going to go into it too far just to not trigger anybody but um yeah, I dreamt that I actually did it. Usually, my dreams, I don't actually get to the point of actually using. I wake up before, but this time, I actually used, and I and I actually like felt like I was high in my dream. It was weird. And then um, this morning, I woke up and uh, kind of felt shitty. So like the first half hour of my day was me getting my thoughts together and convincing myself that this was just a dream <laughs> so how I did it just to uh, help you guys out if any of you guys experienced using dreams how to get past them <coughs> what works for me it might not work for you but here's so basically I woke up felt that feeling of uh, you know like you would have it as if you relapsed so then I just started to reinforce um, the good stuff that has been going on and the, the good milestones of accomplishment and recovery. Um, yeah. So that seemed to help a lot. It was like, you know, I noticed within the first uh, 20 minutes, half hour, I started to feel a little better. And, and actually, it just promoted me to just think about how good I'm doing in recovery and how good it feels to be sober and clean today. Um, I just can't get over I see my psychiatrist today, too, as well. And some of you know I'm, I'm treating depression along with uh, the different stuff I'm doing in recovery that's uh, drug based but uh, in my in my session today I uh, talked to my my psychiatrist about the event that happened Friday I think it was with me finding the dope and turning it in Ooh. and we pretty much went over that whole ordeal and man it's just like wow it's awesome to, to be walking in these shoes today. It's awesome to be making choices that are producing the results that that feel good with no regret, you know. And it's not that complicated. It's, pre, it's actually pretty simple. Three basic principles. One, do the next right thing, which we all can figure that out. It's pretty simple. If you got a question in your mind, if it's the right thing, it probably isn't. Two, pay things forward. Hey, it just produces selflessness and non-selfish feelings. It helps you not be greedy. You know, and, and if, for instance, how you do that, how I do it is, um, you know, if I'm offered a reward for something, if, I, if somebody makes me feel good about something, and it doesn't have to be monetary. It don't mean like, it don't have to mean you get money give it away it's just for me it's like a pay it forward type of hey if I feel good I'm going to make somebody else feel good I'm going to share that feeling of feeling good and gratitude and all that and let somebody else feel that because it feels good and I want somebody else to feel good and the third one is to focus on what you get to do rather than what you have to do it's a sneaky way of putting appreciation into everything me my chore Scrubbing toilets. Mm, I have to scrub toilets. That eh, sucks. I get to scrub toilets. Hey, you're right. I could be in hell right now. Or, you know, I couldn't, I could be in a situation where I couldn't, I wouldn't be able to do that. So, um, yeah, it's basically just focusing on positive things so you can promote, uh, promote feeling good. So then basic principles is how I live life today. Along with some other things, like I'm got, I got my depression in check. I'm working a program with her 
to balance out some of the regret and, and cancel out the shame, you know. But the focus this morning was basically on the using dreams, and they are going to come, regardless if you want them to or not. And it's basically getting over them because that can be a sneaky crack that can get into your subconscious that can lead to a relapse. And um, I think it's very important. Uh, I already ate. And um, it's basically something that can get into your subconscious that will that will not feel good. But you're not you don't have to feel like that. It's something that you had no control over. And it actually feels you can actually turn around if it's something that feels good because it's only a dream. It's not reality. So that's the only place that that can happen. And they, they as I've noticed in recovery, like they do go away. At first they'll be more prevalent, they'll be around a lot more. But as you stick it out and progress in recovery, they do, they do go away. But don't beat yourself up over using dream. As soon as you wake up and you're feeling down about it, just think about the positiveness. Think how far you've came. If you're on day one, think of the last 24 hours that you got through. If you're on day 20, think of the last 20 days. And just focus on the positive things that you've done to make it to day 20. If you're a year into it, I mean, goodness, you could use the whole day to think of all the stuff you've done to get where you're at. And give yourself credit. You made the choice to get where you're at today by a bunch of little choices all adding up to one big choice and that is to live and I just commend all y'all that are in the fight to save your life and to combat this huge epidemic that's killing people and destroying families and just causing so much pain so today I sit before you feeling great feeling good to be alive feeling good to know each and every one of you that I get to come in contact with Oh, and, and this is just the way that I do it, that you can do it. Service work, being a service to others, other people that might have something that you have that they need, and vice versa. You might have need something that they have, and you'll find that out as you conversate with them and you open yourself up and have an open mind to their problem and to be honest about your problems. So walk in victory today. And... Uh, it's a blessing to be here and a blessing to be a part of this mission with all you people. And I love you and I'll see you soon. Peace.